Okay, let's go ahead and open Dropbox and the app on my phone. This would be your company name. Uh, you could have a folder with your different categories. Now I have different trainings on how to organize these categories, but for now we have just four to pick from. Uh, I'm going to show you how to scan a receipt. So receipt we're going to put in the finance and admin folder. I will click on that and click on receipts. Now I have receipts organized by year. This is a 2021 receipt. Now it's going to prompt me on four different actions, either to scan, upload, create a new folder, or take a photo. Let me go back and show you first. They also have these same options across the top on this screen. Um, so similar uh, actions that you can take. Let's go ahead and go back into the 2021 folder. Now I'm going to not take a photo, but scan a document. And I have a receipt in front of me. And what's great about Dropbox is it automatically turns on the auto scanner. So I did not click anything. It just, once it got a good picture of the receipt within the photo lens, it snapped it for me. Now you can edit, um, if it's multi-pages, you can arrange it, but I'm going to hit just next so I can save it. Now for my receipts, I do have a preferred naming convention. I always want the date of the receipt. Uh, Dropbox is gonna default to today's date. That happens to be the receipt on the invoice or the receipt that I just scanned. If it was different, I would change that to another date. So let's say that this had a 1031 date. That's how I would label it. And then I'm going to name the vendor. So this was from XYZ Company. I'm going to put in the dollar amount. And again, this is just how I like to do it so that when I see details of file names, I can see a decent amount of information just in the naming convention. So that is how I will do the naming convention. Date, vendor, dollar amount, and then receipt. Now you can make it a PNG. We're going to make it a PDF. What I love about this app is you can change the quality size. Now we took a scan of a receipt. We don't need a large file size like you would get if you scanned a photo. We're not printing a photo on a canvas. We're, we just scanned a receipt. So we can keep it low quality, small file size. That will keep enough of the information that we need for the document. Okay, so it is uploading. Okay, so there it is. So now we can click on this receipt that we just saved and there it is. It is now saved in our folder on Dropbox. So when we need to find that receipt, we can go into our finance folder receipts for that year and find it by date.